Hi, we're Sister Sledge, and you're watching Mariners TV. So, Graham, another win, seven in a row now in the league. Must have been delighted with that performance and the result. Really, really delighted with it, Dan, yeah. Um, we, I thought we started really well, we created two or three really good opportunities and didn't score. Um, and you, you're always, when you, particularly with them being such good opportunities, you're always scratching your head going, is it going to be one of those days? Um, but obviously when we when we got the lead, I think we, we never looked back. Um, some great play today. Um, like I say, if it, if it was five or six today, I don't think they could have had any complaints. Um, second half was more to do with just keeping possession and killing the game off, and I think we demoralised them. Um, even though the front two kept on working hard, I think they, they struggled really to, to get any foothold in the game second half and we killed the game. So hopefully that saved a little bit of energy for Tuesday night now. And some players played in slightly different roles here, like so Briggs in the number 10 role, he set up the first goal, he must be delighted with the way everyone adapted. Yeah, absolutely. Briggs, I mean, Briggs he's played 10 for us before, so we know we can rely on him there. Um, and I think he did the job really well. Um, very creative, kept the ball, taken over, opened up opportunities for us. Um, so yeah, delighted with Robbie, obviously. Um, we had to shift things around today. Um, Josh Gillies is, is struggling with um, a, sort of a little slight stomach strain, I think. Um, Lee Mason was ill, and obviously we're looking after John Shaw today. Um, so yeah, we had to shuffle the pack, and everybody's done themselves no harm whatsoever. David Foley got his first two goals of the season today. Were you pleased with his contribution? He was magnificent. He really was. He was a, a thorn in their side all day. Even even at 3-0 when the game was dead and uh, like I say they'd almost given up Foles was still making moves in behind trying to get on the ball trying to make things happen um, so delighted for his performance Now he's got those first two goals they hope that he'll be confident in front of goal and that he'll have many more Yeah it's like that striker isn't it you see it time and time again where um, maybe you've, you've played a few games haven't scored and um, it just takes that one or two to get off the mark and off and running so hopefully yeah like you say that's that's Foles and, and Sammy off the mark and um, and uh, yeah, hoping for lots more goals to come. Sammy made his first start today as well. How pleased were you with how he did out there? He did well, yeah. Obviously, look, Sammy's really new to the environment and uh, it takes a little while to settle, but I think he's settling in really well. Um, we have to remember that um, he's not played much football recently. He's been training, not much game time over the last couple of months. Um, so he's going to take a little bit of time to get to get the full fitness. But what he did today was, was very, very good. Um, obviously, delighted with his goal. Um, and he's all around contribution. At the start of the second half, seemed to be a real focus on looking forward and being, being positive in those first minutes. Were you pleased with how the lads? Yeah, we've, done? we've had games down where we've been comfortable at half time and, and we've played a lot of sideways, backwards passes. Um, we did that at the start, and that's why we just reminded the lads to try and play forwards, try, try and get into their half if we can, and um, try not to invite the pressure coming on to us. And, and like you say, after that first minute or two, we, we did it exceptionally well. Although, although there was a lot of sideways passes, it was generally in around the halfway line or just inside their half. So, yeah, in terms of how we killed the game was, was exceptional today. A lot of teams didn't play today, we moved eight points clear at the top. Now it's obviously very early days, but how are you sort of looking at the league table at the moment? Well, we're another, another game down, another three points. That's how we look at it. We're looking at Tuesday and going, can we go another game down and another three points? Um, I think Brownie mentioned the other day, we're looking at it game to game. So. Great that we've ticked another one off. Um, got maximum points. Uh, we're back here again on Tuesday at Mariners. Again, magnificent support. Again, they helped us through today, and uh, hopefully, we'll provide another entertaining performance and another three points. Steely Bridge on Tuesday. What sort of test are you expecting against them? Um, not true yet. Obviously, we've, we've had some competitive games against them in the past, so um, we'll do our homework before Tuesday's game. We haven't got ourselves too too far in advance. So we haven't looked at it that much. Um, we're full focus on today's game. So we'll do our research homework on them, as I'm sure they will do on us, and um, we'll come up with a, a plan of action to try and win that game. Just finally on the injury front, those lads you missed out today, has anyone got a chance of getting back to you? Josh, we're not sure about. Um, it's obviously like a, a slight stomach pull, so that might be a little while. we we'll have to assess that one. Uh, fully hoping that Lee might be OK um, with his illness, so a couple of days hopefully he'll be in a better place. And John isn't far away. Um, so yeah, I think it was wise today. We we'll, we'll possibly could have stuck John on, but I think it would have just knocked him back a little bit more. So yeah, we're, uh, we're going to be in a better place by Tuesday, definitely.